With crowded hallways, loud friend groups, and long lines, on Frisco ISD high school campuses, Mega Lunch definitely lives up to its name. Mega Lunch is an hour devoted each day to better support students um, and their needs, be it academic, social, uh, curricular, co-curricular, maybe even just kind of vegging out and eating lunch for an hour with uh, their peers. And so we carve it out one hour every day in between second and third period. While Lebanon Trail was the first Frisco ISD high school to implement Mega Lunch, Wakeland High School soon got in line. We call it Power Lunch at Wakeland, and it's an hour during the day where students can choose between 12.05 and 1.05 when they want to eat lunch. We have lunch available in the cafeteria, and then out of our concession stand we always also sell lunch products. And then all their, they can go see their teachers for tutorials, they can go to the gym and play basketball, um, they can have team or club meetings. Since it began, for the most part, Mega Lunch has been received in good taste. I mean, at first I didn't really like it, but I like how much time we have, because if I have like a third period class where I need to do homework, I'm able to finish it, and it gives me a lot of time to eat at, at the same time, so it's pretty convenient. The one lunch is nicer, it's easier to staff my kitchen, it's hard to find people who want to work in the kitchen, so because high schools get out traditionally a lot later than with a mega lunch. So with one lunch they can come in and if they have kids in elementary school they can still go pick up their kids and have time to do stuff after after work. You get to assign students tutorials that might need the extra help that maybe because they ride the bus or have other commitments that they can't come in before or after school. So I think it allows those extra opportunities for students to come in. With 1900 kids there are probably 1900 different benefits uh, for our kids across campus. However, where there are positives, there are also negatives. The mega lunch has fixed our jet because uh, there is a lot of trash on the hallways and a lot of chocolate milk is spilled on the walls and I think syrup on the hallways. Sometimes I'm kind of like cut off from other people, I guess, because I'm not like forced to expand my circle, I guess. It's a little bit rocky. One of the main concerns for me is that um, students aren't accessing tutorials as much. They're not getting as much help from their teachers as I think they could. And the other thing is the teachers sometimes get a little bit frustrated. Um, the halls are a little messier than they usually are. They're crowded during the, um, during the power lunch because the kids are hanging out in the hall. I think sales have gone down a little bit because some kids don't want to wait in the line. If I had all the staff I was supposed to have, I could have more lines open and get kids through faster and that would definitely help. While cafeteria sales may have gone down, it's been reported that students who take advantage of the time have seen an increase. I've seen an, an improvement in student grades because of Mega Lunch. I've seen that students who come in for extra tutorials or review sessions we may not normally be able to hold without Mega Lunch, um, that their grades, test grades will improve and things like that. While Mega Lunch at Lebanon Trail is currently in effect, it was briefly taken away last year. So really what we noticed in the last week of April was 1,400 kids that really weren't using it for its benefit. They're really just hanging out. Um, for an hour making bad choices. So what we recognized was student safety was compromised, um, the cleanliness of our school was compromised, and we kind of needed to reset that. And so couple my decision with not needing it for academics and then couple that with some poor choices by students, it seemed like the right time to just reset before we start our, our, our fourth year with seniors letting them know what, what traditional lunch looked like. Now that students have a taste of mega lunch, they seem to understand its purpose. I go to classes a lot, second half of our lunch, so first half I can have like a little break, see my friends, and just do stuff. I kind of procrastinate sometimes, or I don't understand the concept, so I'll ask my friends to help me, or I'll go get extra help, or go to meetings and stuff. I don't cheat, but I get help. Like the saying goes, everything really is bigger in Texas, even lunchtime. I'm Nathan Lowenstein for Vanguard TV.